how would you like to change history? How would you like God to use you to change the world? Some of you listening to me today are gonna take what you hear and you're gonna run with it and from your life, there's going to be disciples all over your city, all over your country, all over the world. We're gonna to talk today about how Jesus changed history, how Jesus changed the world, and he did it through the power of multiplication. Think about it. He took a handful of men, a handful of men, spent three and a half years discipling them, taking a truth and pouring it into their lives in such a way so that they took others and discipled them, and eventually the gospel went from 12 to one million people in 70 years. Wow. You can have an impact like that as well. Let's talk about it. This is the way most of us do ministry. There's one person and, and they're adding. We use the principle of addition. We add a new convert. We add a new Christian. Uh, let's say we're doing it every year. We add one the first year. So that's us plus that one. That equals two. We add one the second year. That's the first two plus the new one. That's three. We add one the third year, that would be four. We add another one, that would be five if we were adding one a year. But look at the multiplier, see the difference. The multiplier, he adds one the first year, but he disciples that person to also reach out and disciple others. So the second year, so the first year there's two just like here, but the second year, that disciple makes a disciple and the original disciple maker, the multiplier makes a disciple. So instead of three, you have four now. Then the third year, this original disciple maker makes a new disciple. His first disciple makes a new disciple. His second disciple makes a new disciple. His, his first disciple's disciple makes a disciple. And so now you have eight. Eight versus four, that's twice as good, but it gets even better. When you get to the fourth year, the fourth generation, this eight all make one disciple, all eight of them. So that would be 16 compared to five, which is better, which is gonna reach the world, which is gonna change history. You know, I was thinking uh, just a few minutes ago that this past Sunday, in one sense, I was preaching the gospel all around the country not just in my church, but through disciples in other churches in central Ohio, other churches in Ohio, other churches in, in uh, Pennsylvania and New York and Virginia and North Carolina and Nevada, just by taking the time to disciple people and bring them along to the point where they can disciple others. You can do this. If you just start with one person, and some of you have, have groups, if you just start with three or four, and you train them to train others, you can begin a chain of multiplication that will grow exponentially and reach large numbers of people. I've seen it happen. We started with five uh, disciples, uh, four guys I was discipling in my first church. By the end of 20 years, we had 125 disciple makers. Think about that. We had 2,000 people in the groups led by those 125 disciple makers. You can do this. Use the power of multiplication. Start today. Don't just meet with people. Don't just teach people, but teach them to multiply. God bless you as you change history.